If you haven't noticed, spring is here, and today we're going to make a strawberry pudding, and it is delicious, okay? I'm going to show you how easy it is with all the Pampered Chef products. Um, okay, step one, what we're going to do is we are going to use the classic batter bowl. It is a two-quart, eight-cup batter bowl, okay? I use this every week in the kitchen. It is great for um, using everything, mixing everything up. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take two packages of instant vanilla pudding, all right, um, 3.4 ounces, and we're going to open these up. We're going to put them in our batter bowl. And then we're going to add three cups of milk. Okay. This is our Pampered Chef measuring cup. Um, they come in three different sizes. One cup, two cup, and four cup. And um, it's great because if you can see, I'm gonna put my hand right here, you can see the two, the, the measurements on the side. Um, and so instead of looking from the side and looking at your measurements, you can actually stand up and pour your milk into it. it makes it a lot quicker. Can I do it? No, honey, I gotta do this. Okay, so that's two cups. And then we're gonna add one more cup. And again, I'm just standing up and pouring it in. Quick and easy. Okay. Then we're also gonna add sour cream. Sour cream? One cup of sour cream. Sour. And this is our small mix and scraper. Um, I love these. They don't burn. They don't crack. They don't come apart. Some of them, when you, um, the cheaper versions, when you cook with them after a while, they start to get that ridge on them. I've had this for probably 12 to 15 years. It has not done it yet. Um, and it's also one continuous silicone plastic piece, so it actually goes into the head of it, so it doesn't come off at any time, okay? And it gets every bit, bit of a sour cream. It's also great for peanut butter, making brownies, cake batter, and so you can really get down in there and it will adapt to the container and pour everything out. Okay. Once you get all that in there, we're going to mix it up. Mix it up, that's right. Mix it up. Yeah, we're going to mix it up. Till it's all good. And this recipe tastes, um, it's, it's like banana pudding, but it has the strawberries in it, so it gives it an um, extra kind of flair to Strawberry it. I really love it. This is actually something that um, Granny Lynn makes, and I love it. And we're so, going to try uh, it. Thank you, Linda Lynn, for this. I, I said to eat strawberry. <laughs> okay. You're supposed to mix it for two minutes and get it going. Like, it's starting to thicken up. I, I like your mixer thing. You do? Thank you. It looks so weird. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. All right, it's getting thick now. It's getting thick. Yeah, it is. It's, it's huge. Yes, it is huge. On here, it's okay. very yellow. Then we're going to come over here. Well, your hand. And this is our 10-inch non-stick skillet. And I want you to put it on medium heat, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take our strawberries. You need two containers of strawberries. Pick out about five that are the prettiest. 
that are the prettiest ones and you're going to put them right here. Do not use those, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get all these. These are my small chef tongs. Okay. And they're just going to cook. No. Oh, but it's going to be good. you got to cook them down a little bit. You can. And as you notice, this can be interesting with little ones, but it's great to get them in the kitchen and learning early. Because this little boy put his hand on the <laughs> Whoa, on the camera, the underneath the panel looks purple. It's cool. Yeah. It looks neon. <gasps> it's neon. Just get all of the strawberries on there. I'm trying to do that. <laughs> Try not to lose any. Because that will not be we, good. We need to lose some. We need to lose some to later. Yeah, see, some there's some later. in there. We've got some. We've got some extra. Uh, uh, I want to eat them. The neon color. These is small good. chef tongs are great because they've got the nylon covering on them, so it doesn't scratch up your pan. I, I like those. Also, you can close them like this, <laughs> and they won't that? open until you actually press Don't them and release them. Okay. There you go. All right, now we're going to take our um, regular gelatin jello, okay? Strawberry flavored. And we're going to put it on top. Mmm, <laughs> smells good. My hell read. Mm, it looks like sugar powdered strawberries. And that's exactly what it is. Sugar is good. Even though it's not that good for you. <laughs> but every now and then it, it's good to have a treat, okay? Okay, so we're just going to cook that a little bit. Ooh, it looks better on the camera. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that look good? Okay, now this is the trifold, the Paper Chef trifold, that we are going to put our creation in, okay? We already have it lined with Nella wafers and around the sides. Okay, and we're going to make different yes. layers, so it's going to be beautiful, okay? Ba -ba -da. This comes off, Come on, so you have a separate stand, and it also comes with a lid, okay? So when I'm transporting it tonight, um, it will be quick and easy to handle, all right? And some of them fell. Yes, and they do that. But once we get the... Uh, Pudding mixture and the strawberries in there. It'll be stuck. It'll be great. It'll be great. And it'll work out perfect. Okay, so we're cooking these. It's looking good. good. It looks better. Okay. It's really red. I don't understand. Like from back here, the pan underneath it's like neon. And this is just to get the strawberries um, a little bit sweeter and just to kind of get them a little bit mushier. All right. Now, back over here, I want to show you um, one of the strawberries. My mommy mixer. Okay. This is um, the five inch utility knife. Um, the blade is a stainless steel blade that actually goes all the way through the handle, okay? So it makes it easier to actually cut. It's easier on your hand and it has an easy grip too, okay? These are a lifetime guarantee for our um, stainless steel knives. They actually come with a co uh, covering to protect it when you put it in the cabinet and so you don't go for it and accidentally poke yourself, okay? And that's what I use to cut all these strawberries. That's some help by me. Okay. Well, right. look at those Still strawberries. Still cooking those. Looking good. 